Good afternoon and welcome to My Cooking Nook. I'm Christine Deaton. Today we have some of my favorite foods. It's Mexican food. That's my all-time favorite ethnic kind of food. And we, again, have a lot of work to do. So thank you for joining me today and let's get started. We're going to start with our dessert because that's got to get in the oven. So today we're making, it's kind of a mock lemon cheesecake, okay? Watch how easy this is. So I'm going to take some um, lemon pie filling. And I actually have two loaf pans that Chris, my cameraman and hubby right back here, uh, was nice enough to grease and flour my pans. And I'm going to put half the can of lemon in the bottom of each one of the little um, loaf pans. I have an assistant again today, my daughter Emily. Emily, come on over. Hello. Come on over. Emily's going to help me in the kitchen. Here she is. There's Emily. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for helping me again today, Em. Yeah, of course. Alrighty, so today, like I said, today is going to be um, Mexican food. You know, we, we lived, I lived in Arizona for over 40 years. And, you know, you just get a taste for the ethnic foods around there. And they have a lot of ethnic food. They have Native American food, Mexican food. And my favorite, literally, is, is Mexican food. I love the flavors of the cumin and the chili and green chilies and things like that. Sometimes on the weekends, you can go to pass a grocery store and they're roasting green chilies right outside. And, ooh, that smells so, so, so good. So... I thought I'd bring a little bit of home here today. The funny thing is that my daughter Ashley, who just left a little bit ago, she was smelling all this stuff already. I haven't even started cooking, but she could smell the green chilies and things like that. And she's like, I'm so homesick because it's just, there's just something about the food in Arizona that is, it's kind of unique. It really is. It's not a Tex-Mex, it's like a genuine Mexican cooking. Okay. I'm going to take my little can. You know how I am, guys. If you've been watching it, you know that I clean as I go. Okay, so now what am I going to do? I am going to put whipped cream cheese, okay? And I'm going to put little dollops of the whipped cream cheese kind of on top here. Can you see that, Chris? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so just, there you go. Emily, can you see this? I oh, can. man, it's so good. I'm going to have Great. Emily do the um, some of the cooking with me here in a minute, but these I'm just going to get the dollops on here. And then the second part, Emily, you can actually start, dump the lemon cake mix in there. Okay. And then you're going to put the, the melted butter, you have to have eight tablespoons of melted butter and a lemon cake mix. And I did the lemon today because if you see right here, Chris, on the table, a lot of... Um, accents to Mexican food is lemon or lime, even in my iced tea. That's just a regular iced tea, guys. It's not spiked today. It's just a regular iced tea, but lemon and lime are huge and go very well with all the flavors. So I have my lemon and lime, so I decided to keep the theme and go ahead and do a lemon dessert. Just so throw, you can throw, you can go ahead and put the eight, eight tablespoons of butter in and then just start whisking that together. So what Emily has done, is she's got the lemon cake mix and she's got um, eight tablespoons of butter, melted butter, guys, you gotta have melted butter and as I finish up the little dollops of, of the cream cheese. And she's whisking that all together. And then we are going to take our mixture and it's kind of thick, you want it crumbly, okay? And I know that's a cure, maybe try with this one, okay? And then, we're gonna, I'm gonna start the rice as Emily continues to do the cake, okay, because that's gonna take a few minutes. And basically it comes out to a crumbly mix that we put on top of this. Doesn't that look good already? Look at that. that. It smells good. And it turns into a mock lemon cheesecake. Okay, we're gonna start the rice. Now, last week we had Stacy ask us, can you make any kind of rice in a rice cooker? Yeah, you can do plain, plain rice, you can do um, Chinese rice, you can do anything. But today is going to be um, Mexican rice, okay? So I'm going to put two, I mean four cups of water, okay? I'm doing two cups of rice, so it's double the water, okay? So I've got four cups of water, two 
two cups of rice. Now watch how simple this is. You know I talk about kitchen gadgets. Get a rice cooker, for goodness sakes. It's so easy. I've got about probably two, maybe three ounces of um, green diced green chilies. And I get them mild because not everybody likes heat, okay? And I'm just going to dump that in, okay? Then I have some Rotel mild. It's more uh, green chilies, but it's got diced tomatoes. And that's going to go in, okay? And then I have my low sodium, you know, us Meniere's people, we have to have low to no sodium, okay? It's almost impossible to have no sodium. So anytime you can do a low sodium version of things, just do it. It, it, it helps us, okay, with balance. Okay, and then I'm going to put in a McCormick's because that's my favorite. Um, you know, McCormick's, if you're listening, you're my, fir my favorite kind of seasonings, okay? And so I'm going to put in a whole packet of taco seasoning, um, low sodium, okay? We have and Fran then, and Harlan with us, just hello, letting you know. Hello, hello, thanks for joining me today for my Mexican meal, my favorite. We appreciate you guys coming on. That's my mom out there and Chris's Aunt Harold. We want you guys to tell people. Actually, we've had a great response to our shows. This is only our fifth show, and we have had tons of people watching and commenting, and it's really been very, very exciting for us. So we're going to keep doing this. As long as you guys want us to, we're going to keep doing this. Chris, come here and take, just take a look at this. If you can see it here, I've just mixed everything together gotcha. it's smelling great already put the lid down and then you're going to pop the little bottom there and when it's cooked the little green light will go back on so we don't have to do anything but let that cook and do its thing how do you, how does this okay so actually you're gonna you can just crumble it crumble like it. half the batter on one and half the batter on the other okay. emily is crumbling the cake we'll watch her do that a minute and then as soon as it's all crumbled, you can just stick it in the oven. Okay. And because we're doing two loaf pans, um, I I'm hoping, because loaf pans are a little thicker, you know, so I'm hoping it's done in 30 minutes. And if it's not done in 30 minutes, what I'm going to do is we'll do a little five-minute clip after the show, and we'll show you how the dessert turned out. But for right now, Chris, just watch Emily as she does the crumbly of the cake. That really looks delicious. Yes, Okay. Is. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the meat, okay, the main dish. So we're making burritos today, and I have my handy dandy tortillas. I like to get the, um, the uh, let's see, what size are these? These are the large tortillas. I don't know the burrito size. They're called. Burritos, yeah, they are called the burrito size. You don't want to do this in little tiny burritos because, it, it, I mean, the tortillas won't hold all the stuff that I put in it. So get the large um, tortillas, okay? And so I'm going to let this uh, heat up. You know, it helps to plug things in. It, it just works <laughs> so much better when things are plugged in. You have no idea. Okay, so I have, you know that I use ground turkey. You can use ground beef. You can use, if you have leftover chicken, you can do chicken burritos, which are delicious. <laughs> and everything that goes with it can go with any one of those meats, okay? I actually love chicken burritos. When we're in Arizona and we go to our favorite restaurant, Ricardo's, I always get a chicken burrito because that's my favorite. But for today, I'm using ground turkey. Now remember with ground turkey, you always have to start with a little bit more oil than you would for ground beef. Ground beef has its own fat. Ground turkey has virtually none. So you have to have something in the pan to move it around and make it cook and brown, okay? So how are those coming in? Ooh, that looks great. Go ahead and stick them in the oven. Okay. Carol Rasmussen's with us. She Hi, says, Carol. can't wait to see the results. Miss you guys. Hey, girl, how are you? I miss you too. All right, Emily's got the cakes going. Put it for 30 minutes and let's see how that goes. All right, Carol, I'm so glad you're joining us today. That's so nice of you. Hey, right. Elizabeth. Hey, boy, how are you? That's my daughter. I got about two tablespoons of oil. I use canola. You can use whatever you want. Canola is a, it's a lighter oil, and I'm allergic to so many things that if I use a vegetable oil or a peanut oil, I can't use any of those. So I use a, just a plain canola oil, okay? And I'm going to start, I'm going to put my ground turkey in. 
Jennifer's on. Hey, Jennifer. Hello. Hello, hello. Okay, so what I'm also going to do on the side over here, I'm going to have one side cooking my um, ground turkey. The other side, I'm going to be cooking my onion. Normally, I saute the onion, but with this, because it's going to be in a burrito and it's all going to kind of gel together, it really doesn't matter. You don't have to saute the onions first. You can cook it all together. I made a similar recipe on our, I believe it was our second shelf, and it was a chili. And at that time when I was cooking the chili, I had said, before you add any fluid to um, basically this mixture, um, if you just stopped where you were and it was nice and thick, that's a burrito, and that's a burrito filling. And that's basically what I'm doing today, okay? So, all right. We're going to let this cook. I'm going to let both the onions and the ground turkey cook. Okay. This stuff mm, does it not smells take, good. It smells amazing. This stuff does not take long, let me tell you. I'm going to move the onions around a little bit because I want all of them cooked about the same time. And, and I say this, and I'll say it every show, get yourself a skillet. Okay? The electric <laughs> skillet on top of your counter. In the summertime, you won't have to heat up your, your oven. And so, and you can make anything. Like next week, I'm making skillet baked ziti. For real, I am. Okay, and let's do this together. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm gonna heat up the pan. I'm gonna make Mexican corn, okay? Corn is a very, very, um, it's, a, it's a very commonly used side dish in Mexican cooking, okay? But I love the way the Mexican people cook it because it's a little different and they make it just with that the sassy, I think it's kind of sassy taste. And so that's what we're gonna do today. Okay, let me just move this around. And when that's heated, just put maybe a, a tablespoon, a couple tablespoons of oil in the bottom. Okay. While the while that pan's heating up, I'm gonna have Emily over there. I'm gonna be doing my meat. So anyway, I want to talk to you about the show. We are very, very excited that so many of you have joined in. We, I, I'm shocked at the viewership that we've had. And I, but I've had people say, but I'm working at that time of day. That's okay, because when you get home, it's going to be on Facebook. It just won't be live. Or we really are asking everybody to please go to, to YouTube to my cooking of all the words are together, okay? Actually, I've, I fixed that. You can, oh, is it, it, it'll show up now? if you run them together, they'll show up. But it's the same? But it is, same. yep. Okay, <clears throat> it'll take you right to it. on YouTube and like us and subscribe. And subscribing does not mean it costs you a dime. It just means that you will know what we're doing. You're kind of following us. And we would really, really appreciate everybody out there, everybody, to um, go to YouTube and like us and subscribe, okay? Because we want big things to happen with this show. And, and you know, the premise of it is this. You, those of us who have some kind of ailment, we need to cook and get out of the kitchen. Like today I'm having a very sick Meniere's Day, very sick Meniere's Day. So I want to cook and go sit, okay? And that's the other reason I tell you to clean as you go because the last thing you want to do when you're not feeling well is cook, eat, and then have to worry about cleaning. If you clean as you go, trust me, it saves you a whole lot of work. If you can see here, are you good here? Okay, so I want you to saute these vegetables. I've got a spoon right there. So come on over here. Emily is going to saute my veggies. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat down. And just, so what we're doing here is we've got two colors of bell pepper, red and green, and we've got onion, okay? Very Christmassy. Yes, it is very, it is. But you know, if you look, so you can actually buy cans of Mexican style corn, and you'll see the two colors in, in, on, the, on, the, on the lid of the can. So that's exactly what we're doing. Okay. It's also the colors of the Mexican flag. What? It's also the colors of the Mexican flag. That is true. Well, that's true. That's maybe colors, that's why they did it. The colors of Mexico. That, that would make a lot of sense. That makes more <laughs> sense than Christmas. It, it, it does. Okay. So now I'm going to, oh, I'm going to add my garlic salt at this point because I've incorporated the onions. I've got the meat going. And I have the low sodium 
uh, garlic salt, and it's the California blend because I like the little flakes of parsley that's in there. You don't have to use that kind, but I use that kind because that's my favorite kind. See? In the kitchen, you know you're going to have your favorite, so whatever it is. All right. Let's get this garlic. And like I said, I don't add a lot of salt because of the sodium issues of those of us with Meniere's. And so I use, I use, just use a blend of garlic salt. So it's salt and garlic and it's low sodium and it works perfectly for me. You can always put the salt jar on the table after you cook and then people can salt their own food. I know, I mean my husband's kind of a salty dog over there. A little bit, yeah. He likes salt. Emily likes salt, I like right? I salt everything. She salts everything <laughs> and they probably do because I don't salt. So, like, when I get the food to the table, they, they salt. But hey, Gwen, welcome. Who's here? Gwen. Hi, Gwen, mm -hmm. how are you? I'm glad you're joining us today. Okay, guys, look at my meat and my onions. It looks great. I'm going to let that cook for a minute, turn that down. All right, so Em's got the, oh, this looks good. Look at that. All right, so now you know what she's going to do. You're going to dump that whole can of corn in there. Be careful because there's a little fluid in there. So, you know, just do it away from you. There you go. There's our corn, okay. I'm gonna stir that all up. And you see this, what she's doing? Look how pretty! I love it. Okay, stir that all up and kind of let it cook and simmer. All right, man, this is looking good and smelling good. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. I mean, I could literally stop right here and just eat the meat like that. You know, with ground turkey, though, you have to make sure it's cooked all the way through. Okay? You don't want any red ground turkey. You have, you have to cook it. Okay? You have to make sure in the browning process that they are pretty brown. Okay? I, I, well, actually, I'm kind of like that with all meat. Not that I don't eat beef and I don't eat pork. Yeah, you guys know that, right? And so, for me, you know... I don't have to worry about cooking it like that. But years and years ago, before I knew I couldn't eat that stuff, I mean, my steak had to be so crispy you would go, yeah, that's the truth. I like everything well, well, well done. Uh, I, I think I took after my dad with that because my dad always liked all his meats very well done. My mom, not so much. She likes kind of a medium. Yeah, but I, I got I got the uh, the crispy taste buds, I guess. This is looking great. Okay, how are you doing here? Ooh, that looks amazing. Looks, it looks amazing. Give it a couple of minutes, mm -hmm. and then you're going to add, can you see this? She's going to add two tablespoons of butter, and then, you know what I do in my corn? I, I like it a little sweet, as if I was having an actual corn on the cob. So I add some sugar. Just a half of sugar, a tablespoon of sugar, whatever. Just add it in there. It just gives it a nice, sweet little flavor. I'm going to throw this away. I'm going to take this and Emily in a couple of minutes. And I want you to go ahead and add both ingredients and yep. stir it in. Okay, things are going great here, guys. We're getting done. We're getting done. And this is a very, very, very quick meal. Very we do quick. welcome everybody that's watching today. Yeah. If you have any questions or comments, Please feel free to post them. We'll see them and respond as, yep. as best we can to them. Yes, and please tell everybody out there that we're doing this, okay? Really and truly, it's to get you in and out of the kitchen quickly. For those of us who have disabilities in the kitchen, for anybody who really doesn't have the stamina, maybe my mom always says, like her, like seniors, who will still love to cook, <laughs> but they need to do it quickly, this is for you, okay? <laughs> this is why I'm doing the show. All right. Now I'm going to add four, a four ounce can of diced green chili. We had a question a couple of weeks ago about, you know, are the green chilies hot? Um, some are. Some are very hot. Like you don't want a ghost chili and you don't want, I mean, there, there are a lot of chilies that are very, very, very hot that Moses would probably love, Emily's husband. I don't, I like a little zing. I don't like <clears throat> it so hot that it burns my mouth because then I can't taste the food and that kind of makes me irritated. Elizabeth says she puts green chilies in with her corn as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, you can do 
So you can yeah, certainly yeah. do that. Yeah. We're having green chilies in the burritos and the rice and today. The rice. So I don't want to, you know, green chili everything up. But yes, absolutely, you can add green chili to the corn. That would be absolutely delicious. Okay, so I've got my green chili incorporated here, okay? And I've got my onion and I've got my meat. And now I'm going to add my seasoning, okay? Once, once this is all incorporated and once the meat is done, you're gonna add your taco seasoning, okay? It's the same seasoning that I used in my rice, all right? So if I can get the package open, <laughs> I'm gonna put it in there. Again, this is the McCormick's mild taco seasoning, uh, low sodium, okay? And I am going to spread that around. Use the whole content of the package. They know what they're doing and how much to put in there and just trust them. They're good at it. And I'm going to stir all of this around. You can add, I'm gonna add, uh, I mean literally a quarter of a cup of water just so that I can incorporate this better. Can you see that, Chris? I can. Look Looking amazing. Good. Ooh, yeah. I talk about my disease a lot because it's my daily <laughs> life. I'm gonna add a little tiny bit more. And it's I, I I have to, I call it navigate around the disease. And today, honestly, guys, uh, I almost had to postpone the show because I really was not feeling well. But then I thought, you know what? This is what it's all about. It's to show you that, yes, we can still cook. For those of us who like to cook, we can still do it regardless of how we're feeling. We still have families to feed. You know what I'm saying? So to get these quick meals done, this will be done probably in less less than a half an hour, my meat and everything. Okay. Mac okay. is on with us. Hey, Mac. Hello, Mac. How are you, girl? I miss all my buddies in Arizona. I really, really do. But it's just a good excuse for you to come out here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mac loves Branson. And what's not to love here, let me tell you. Alrighty. My meat is done, okay? So I am actually gonna turn it off, okay? Cause it's completely done. And why am I doing that? Because I'm gonna make the burritos now. That's why I'm doing it. Okay, so very easy. Before I do that, I wanted to tell you something. I buy these, you know, the big packages of, of the white corn tortillas. And you can make like little street tacos with, with this meat that we've got right here. But what I like to do with these is, you know, when you go to the store and you buy a bag of corn chips or tortilla chips I should say um, those are it's corn it's corn tortillas that they make it from but have you ever tried white corn tortilla chips I'm not going to make them today at some point I am going to do nachos and I'm going to do it on the homemade chips and I use the white corn tortillas to me they are so delicious and they have a different flavor and they're, they're crispier and they, they're lighter and oh my god. And when you do them at home, they're delicious. It's a yeah. it's a different experience a than the store bought bagged yes. stuff. They're great. And so at one at some point, like I have my menus now clear out for six weeks, but at some point after that I will do a whole thing of nachos and all the stuff that you can put on top of the nachos and everything. And I, and I'll make the homemade chips because I'm telling you guys and girls, those it's to die for. Okay, I have cheese. My favorite blend of cheese is cheddar and Monterey. Love it. It's the cheddar strong. The Monterey is not, but the combination together is delicious. So I'm going to take, I have my plate right here, and I'm actually going to get a spoon to do this with. And my tortillas have been sitting out. If you happen to take them out of the refrigerator right before doing this, you might want to zap it in the microwave for maybe 10, 15 seconds just to soften them up. Because if you try to make a burrito when, when they're like, you know, pulled out of the refrigerator and then you go to fold them, it, the tortilla is going to break. And you don't, you don't want broken tortillas because then everything will fall out. So I took these out earlier today. They're room temperature and they're pretty flexible and that's what you want. Okay, 
So yeah, I'm gonna do it my way. Cheese first, okay? Then a nice scoop or two, okay, of meat. Guess what? More cheese, because I mm -hmm. want cheese. Then you fold in the two sides, okay? The, the, you can't say ends because <laughs> it's a circle. So you fold in the two sides, and then you fold and you fold, and there's your little burrito. Okay. Looks great. I'm gonna make a few more. Things. I'll lay claim to that one. Good. <clears throat> okay, come, Chris, come on over here. Let's see what Emily did here. So, okay, so there's your Mexican rice. Okay, no, corn. corn. <laughs> <laughs> the rice is over there. The rice is there. This, is, this is not your Mexican rice. That's your Mexican rice. This is your Mexican corn. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for keeping me on my toes here. Okay, anyway, it looks amazing. It smells amazing. And it's got, what does it have in it? Okay, so it's got a can of corn. It's a plain can of corn that I did drain. I left about half the liquid in there, okay? I've got red bell peppers, green bell peppers, and onions that Emily sauteed. And then mix the corn in and, you know, bring, brought everything together. And then you add your little, a couple of tablespoons of butter and let that melt in there. And like a tablespoon, if you like it sweeter, you can do two tablespoons. It, it, you can do too much. It's too much of anything. To me, it's no good. So if you add like one tablespoon of sugar, it gives it like, because when I make corn on the cob, in the water, I put, you know, obviously water and the corn, and then I put like a huge dollop of butter, and I put quite a bit of sugar, some salt. You can actually put a little salt and pepper in there if you mm -hmm. want. I mean, I don't salt, but if, if you, you can, you can put a little bit of salt and pepper in this, and then you've got a great quick side dish, okay? All right, let's get back to the burritos. I'm gonna make, I'll probably get out of a pound of meat, you can you can get a good half dozen burritos, okay? Tayana's on. Hey, Tayana. Hello, Tay. How are nice you? Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, Tay, you've actually had my burritos. I remember a few years ago, you guys had come over for dinner, and this is exactly what I made. And I remember um, you guys saying, those are the best Cole, burritos I ever had. Cole, Cole said, crazy Cole, for him. <laughs> he loved these burritos. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> this is what I made. It's quick and it's easy. I don't know if you guys can see how I'm doing that, but like I said, I, I, if, if you try to do the, the tortilla, you know, when it's cold, honestly, the first little fold is going to break. So you, you want it at least room temperature. Oh, where's my cheese? If not, if not, um, in the microwave. If, if you just happen to take them out at the last minute, you want, you want it in the microwave. And it only takes a few seconds in yeah, the microwave like, oh, yeah, just yeah. to soften them up yeah. nicely. Yes. Now, here's the thing too. I, I'm gonna get five burritos out of this today because I've put a bunch in. But here's the thing. What I would do now, and I, and I may, because we have a few minutes, is I like to fry, make the outside of my burrito crispy. That's my favorite. And so. Hello, Teresa made... Hill. Hi, Teresa. How are you? You got a new beautiful grandbaby. I know that. Very beautiful baby, and I'm sure you are thoroughly enjoying that that little beauty. I have eleven grandchildren, and I love them all equally and dearly and they're just they're just amazing little human beings <laughs> okay here's what i'm gonna do i've decided that i am going to i know i've got a little tiny bit of meat left that i'm not gonna waste right of course not so i'm gonna take it out of there okay that's you I'm could put that here. over your your tortilla chips oh, yeah, and say, get your Emily said she could eat that. You want to have it in? Yes. Here, Emily. Here, actually, actually, go ahead and you can tell everybody how that is. You want some cheese? Yeah. Hello, Alicia. Alicia, how are you? You've had my burritos too at some point, I'm sure. I'm sure Alicia would have some good Mexican food tips for Ooh, us I too. I know. Yeah. I know she can cook. Just she cooks good. Yes, she makes great guacamole. 
<laughs> oh, that was the, oh, I'm so glad you said that because I'm not a big guacamole person, but this is a perfect meal to make some guacamole. Will you tell how you make it, please? Because that would be something that I, you know, I don't know. Well, I, I cheat, so don't <laughs> okay. judge me. That's quick, right? That's <laughs> yes, how you make it quick. quick. Um, I just get a couple ripe avocados and I get a thing of uh, pico de gallo from the store because everything's already chopped up. I don't have to do anything, right. but it's the onion, cilantro, tomato, jalapeno already mixed up. So I just mash up the uh, guacamole. Some like it cubed and chunky, like Alicia. I remember yours was always chunkier. Mm -hmm. um, I tend to leave it to make it a little smoother, not quite as chunky. Um, and then I just add the pico de gallo and a bunch of uh, lime juice and a bunch of salt, and that's it. Sure. There you go. How'd you make it today? We'll do you know that what? We'll have Emily time. make that when we do the nachos. We'll yeah, have her, there we'll you have go. We'll have her do the, the, the guacamole good stuff. Okay, Love so it. I wiped out my fryer, okay? Now, I'm only, it's not like, I'm not deep frying the burritos, so I don't need, like, a lot of oil. So I'm just going to put... I don't know, if, if you were to measure, it's probably maybe a quarter of an inch of oil. And that's all you need. Hello, Jessica Sears. It's Hello, good to be Jessica. seen by you. How we miss you, you guys, Jessica? too. I'm going to be doing your macaroni and cheese in a couple of weeks. <laughs> your macaroni and cheese, I will give you full credit for it because it's great, it's delicious, and we eat it all the time now. So, Jessica, thank you for that. Any of you out there that have any quick recipes that you want to, you know, go on the, on the website and or Facebook and say, hey, I have this two, three, four item recipe that I'd like to share with you. We'd love it. And I will absolutely give you credit for sending it to us and we'll make it. We will make it here. We want, we want quick and easy recipes. So you make anybody it, out there, send it to us. That would be great. You make it, I'll eat it. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Got a deal there. That, you know, I don't doubt that for a minute. Okay, what I, I'm heating up my oil right now because I'm going to crisp up my tortillas on my burritos because that's the way I like mm -hmm. it. Man. And so, but you could, hey, listen, you could eat it just like this, okay? I just like crispy, crispy food. I prefer crispy food. Hey, and check on the cake for me. Yeah. And this is warm now, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. I put it back on my high setting because you just want them in and out, okay? I'm, on, I'm actually going to get another plate here. I'm going to line the bottom with some paper towels, okay, so that I can drain. I don't like excess oil, okay. So I'm going to, when I finish with my burrito, I'm going to put it on that, okay. This is quick, guys. Look, it's already crispy on top. Mm -hmm. It just takes a few seconds, okay. It really does. It takes a few seconds. Look at that. Look at that. Amazing. Delicious. And like I said, this is this is like one of my all-time favorite meals. Um, so I'm very excited about eating this. <laughs> this is all you need. I don't know if you can see that, Chris. It's like you're just browning the top. Okay. You don't even have to worry about the sides or anything. Just crispy, crispy, and you're done. Okay. And again, if for somebody, if there's somebody in your family that prefers not to have an oil or they just like soft things better, you don't have to fry them. You can put a couple on the side that's not fried. Like I said, I <laughs> prefer it fried. Fran says she's sure I would eat them, but not to eat hers. Not she says I'm hers. dangerous in the kitchen that I'm the food thief. <laughs> 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 well... Not to throw shade, but if it showed up. <laughs> well, Dad just eats, Dad just eats if it's, whatever's left If it's here, around. that's right. I hate yeah, to see anything please. go to waste. All right, guys, look. I want you to see my beautiful burritos. That looks great. I'm so excited. Look at that. Those do look delicious. Of course they do. They are now, delicious. So here's a question for you that I have. Uh-oh. What? Does, does taking the burrito and deep frying it, is that what qualifies it as a chimichanga? Or as you've seen in some movies, chimichanga? <laughs> well, I, I believe, and I'd have to look this up, I believe a chimichanga is deep fried. Deep fried, yeah. Yes. So this is just crisping them up. Gotcha. Not so much okay, gotcha. Yeah. 
and I'm pretty sure I have. I think you're probably fries. right on that. Yeah. They are deep fried. They are put in like your French fry fryer, and they're delicious. And they are deep fried. That is, that <laughs> is a good delicious. way to go to. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, okay. So listen, we are 35 minutes. The rice is done. The corn is done. And the meat is done. The burritos are done, man. I didn't catch the story on the cake. Where I mean, are we with that? It's just about done. It just was, about uh, done, maybe, too. Whee. Maybe could use a couple more minutes. There's okay. still four and a half minutes on the timer. Okay. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. All right. Oh, my gosh. Do we listen to that kind of music? <laughs> we, are, we are such Disney fanatics in this house that I'm sure people get tired of hearing us sing Disney. Okay. Jen, right. Jen says, Sebastian loves your crispy burritos. Well, he loves wow. my crispy uh, breakfast burritos, too. Mm -hmm. And yes. that one's coming up. We're in, a, in um, let's see, I think two weeks. You better have Sebastian around because we're going to be doing the, uh, the breakfast burrito and the white gravy on the side. So. Oh, yeah. That sounds great. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. Are those beautiful? I mean, sometimes food is just beautiful. That's beautiful. Yes? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay. So, uh, well, you know, I'm going to leave this here. And I can actually, st oh my gosh, I can actually start making the plate already? This is crazy. Look how quick this was, everybody. Uh, look at my rice, guys. Chris, come on over Come here. on, let's get I want shot you to see that. the Spanish rice. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, I didn't have to do a thing but drop it all in here. Now let me show you what I'm going to do with this, Okay. I have leftover cheese, which is almost unheard of in this house. But I'm just going to sprinkle it. It's only it on left top. over for a minute. It's only left over for a minute. Sprinkle it on top. What? Yeah, that's what you do with that. There's no such thing as leftover cheese here. All right, I'm going to fix a plate. Now, as you can see on my table right here, this is a very typical thing in a Mexican restaurant. You get chips, okay, and salsa. And sometimes you get, well, if you ask early enough, you can get some sour cream, but that's really for the burritos, okay? <laughs> but you do get chips and salsa, and they kind of get your palate ready for everything else that's coming out. So I wanted to make it traditional and put the chips on the table. I also, when we go to Ricardo's in Arizona, I always have their iced tea. I love their iced tea. This is just plain old iced tea, but I've got lemon and lime on top because that is the theme today, Mexican food, and lemon and lime are very much part of that culture. Okay, so here's my handy dandy plate, and I'm going to come over here, Whoa, and I'm going to take a burrito. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Emily, just grab a plate, okay? Just grab a plate. Since you can't have the tortilla, you can actually just put your meat. I'll just take some rice. Yeah, take a little rice and put it on top. I'm going to take my... Oh, Emma, I'm going to need you to take a picture oh, of yeah. our plate. I will do that. Okay, look at this so far. We're getting there. Ah, is that beautiful? Okay. Here's my Spanish rice. Look at this. You know, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to get more cheese out of the refrigerator. Because it's just, it's just, it just has to be. So, for me, there's never, ever, ever enough cheese. I'm just going to take my handy dandy. We go through these big giant bags of cheese, like... I don't know, every couple of days, days we, we need more cheese. Okay. Jennifer confirms that a chimmy is deep fried. It's deep fried. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Emily, have a seat. I'm going to get my little flour out of here so that we can sit and have a meal. All right. Take a picture of it. Hey, you yeah. know, with your little plate there, you could actually put the rice on it, the, yeah. the corn. You could put everything on that and just have, ooh, that would be amazing. But yeah, take those pictures. Look at that. That's beautiful. I'm going to check on the cake while Emily's taking pictures. Hey, guys, if you have any questions or anything, now's the time before I sit and eat in front of you because uh, I'm very excited about this meal, let me tell you. Okay, what I am going to do is I'm going to move this down, okay, and cook it for few more minutes but that is looking beautiful that is absolutely looking like a gorgeous dessert mm -hmm. if we don't get the dessert out in time what's going to happen is I'm going to put powdered sugar on top and scoop it and then I'm going to actually put if you look on the little plate over here I actually saved lemon zest 
and that's going to go on top also. So we have a lemon flavor from bottom to top. Okay. All right. So I personally love lime on everything. Yeah. So I am going to squirt some squirt of this lime. Oh yeah. On my food. Absolutely. I want to take a sip of my tea. Jessica said she's coming over. <laughs> Come I, I, on I'm down. Sorry. I just have to show you this plate again because that is that's just a pretty plate. Food. That is and great. okay, and literally all the food was done in about 35 minutes. All of it. If had I not deep fried, it would have been about a 30 minute meal for all of this. Okay, and that's a lot of food in a very short amount of time. You got to have the tools in the kitchen. You have to have the rice maker, and I always have a timer so I don't have to keep checking things. I can go back and forth and stuff like that. So, so I don't have to go back and forth. The timer tells me when to come back and check on things, which is a huge help for somebody like me. I have to sit a lot, okay? So I keep that time at that time. You know how many times I've worn those little timers out? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> We've been through lots of them. We've been through lots of them. Okay, what should I taste first? I, I, I you know what? I gotta go with the rice. I love the rice. How, what do you taste? What are you well, doing? mine's just a mix. You I can't. Mix. I have to. I eat like that too. Yeah. I, I have, have to reduce rice. my gluten as much as possible. Wow. Oh yeah! Yeah, that's very good. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. All those flavors, you can. Uh, uh, the more you chew, the more you taste the things. Rice is delicious, on point, and the cooker did it all for me. So that was so, really nice of the cooker. Thank you, cooker. You, as we're looking here, uh, Mackenzie says, "What time is your show on the Food Network?" <laughs> Mackenzie. Find out, I'll tell you. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Elizabeth said she would like to sometime do her green chili chicken casserole. Oh, amazing. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So we'll get you to do that, that, Elizabeth. I would love for you, you to bet. come on the show, dear. You can bring my little Nicky with you. He'll be eating everything as we cook it. I know that. <laughs> okay. So right now I'm doing the corn. Corn again had the, it, it, it's just canned corn. Okay. I drain half the corn, the, 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 the liquid. And we, Emily sauteed the onions, the green bell pepper, and the red bell pepper, because this, when you look up Mexican corn, this is what it looks like, okay? And like Chris said, it's the Mexican flag. So it's the colors of the Mexican flag. The white for the onion, the green, and the red, okay? And then we put a little bit of butter and we put a, a, a little packet or a tablespoon of sugar for the corn. Spot, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Nailed it. Who just makes me day. <laughs> that is delicious. Now, what I am going to do, I'm going to take my knife. I want you to see the inside of the burrito. Did you hear the crisp? Mm -hmm. Did you guys hear that? Okay. <laughs> Yay! It's talking to okay, me. Okay, look at, look at this. Oh, yeah. All right. See there? Amazing. Yes. Dripping mm -hmm. with the cheese. To die for. Yep. Oh, I can't believe you. Get, I feel bad that you can't have the tortilla because. Or the corn. Oh, or the <laughs> corn. Oh my God. Okay, guys. So this is my Mexican meal. Try it. 30 minutes. It's done. Okay. I'm going to check one more time on the cake. You can keep eating them. You can come up. Well, I would, I would just say I'll get some in just a little bit. <clears throat> Jen says she wants to do the Incredible Deals Chicken Philly sometime. Oh. Love that. Okay, that will be <clears throat> from now week seven. Week number seven. Elizabeth will do the New York Green Chili week eight. So whatever that is from now, count seven out for Jennifer, eight out for Elizabeth, and we'll do those meals right here in the kitchen. Wow. Okay, you know what? This is all right. We're gonna take one out. Yeah, let's see what Look happens. That. that looks I think mighty it's brown good. a little more, and I'll probably put it back in. But I want to scoop some out. I'm not actually going to put the... Ooh, look at that. How pretty. Finally okay. some snow. I got your yeah. lemon zest. Sprinkle it on top. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to use my plate. That looks good. That looks really good. Mm -hmm. So excited! <laughs> All right, let's see how this baby turned out. Look at that! 
that. Oh my gosh. Well, that looks tasty. Oh my gosh. Well, what this is, guys, it's it's a mock lemon cheesecake. Look at that. Holy cow. I'm going to put a little bit more. It's probably really good cold, too. I'm not sure. Okay, we have to try this. <laughs> we have to try this. I'm going to put a lemon and a lime on the plate to make that look beautiful. Look at that! Oh, forget it. <laughs> Here's your My favorite. I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this. I, I, I give the crusty stuff on top. That's my first bite. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's hot, but I like it that way. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not good. It's amazing. All right, go ahead. Oh, my gosh. That's like I can't new... eat at the top. <laughs> I gotta, I That's like my new favorite dessert, for gosh sakes. Holy cow. That is delicious. What? <laughs> okay. We're going to sit here right, and guys. enjoy the food rush. You're going to let Chris eat a little bit because I think he earned a burrito. Yay. Yay. Way, thank you. We want to thank you all for joining us for our Mexican meal today. My name is Christine Deaton. This is my daughter, Emily Deaton Montiel. Hubby Chris back there. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you so much for joining us. Hey, go to YouTube. And even if you don't want to watch it on YouTube and you just watch it on Facebook, just go to YouTube, press like, and press subscribe. We need the numbers. We, there's a ton of you out there watching us, and we appreciate it. We'll see you next week. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye. Okay.